Assalamu alaikum and hello. This video is a translation of Ms. Sadia Reza's lecture on how to teach children the concept of yes and no. This is being translated on your request. The purpose of this video is to explain how parents can teach children the concept of yes or no at home, especially those children that have a development delay, autism, speech delay, intellectual disability, or typical growing disorder. Teaching them this skill can make our life as parents very easy, as it tells us what our children want to say and whether they like something or not. This is a very common skill that we must teach our gifted children. We must remember that when we introduce the concept of yes or no to a child, the thing we use as a base or example to teach this skill must be highly preferred or liked by the child. For example, if the child wants to go outside the house to play and is looking at the door again and again, we must ask the child, do you want to go outside? This way the child will learn that he has to say yes or no to express himself or herself. Similarly, if the child wants to play with a favorite toy, you should ask the child what he or she wants. This way you can also emphasize that if you want to play with the toy, you should say yes. You can teach the concept of yes or no by saying the words, nodding your head, or showing a card. For instance, if a child walks towards a favorite toy, you must use one of these three methods to emphasize that yes, you want this toy. This will help the child learn the use of yes or no. When you see that the child is tired of playing with the toy, you should ask the child, do you want to play more with this toy? To help the child, you may show the no card and say that you do not want to play with the, this toy anymore. You should remember that once you say no to something, you should not change your mind. Even if the child insists on having the toy back, you should not give it back as you have already said no. This is how you can explain that no means no more. And when you ask the child something, you should give the child some time to respond to your question so that he or she can decide whether her aunt's answer or his answer is a yes or no. Let us do an activity to learn the concept of yes or no. You can use things from home for this activity. So take six things that your child can eat. Three of these are your child's favorites and three that your child dislikes. Have your child sit on a chair and start feeding him the three things that he or she likes. Make sure the child chews and tastes the items to enjoy them. After letting the child taste all three items, we can start teaching the concept of yes or no. Pick up each thing and ask the child whether he or she likes it or not. Ask the child to say yes or no or nod his or her head in yes or no to indicate his or her preference. After doing this a couple of times, let the child taste one of the things that he or she does not like. Now ask the child again whether he or she likes this item or not. The answer is obvious, but you can emphasize that when you do not want to eat something, you should say no. Please remember that you will have to keep your talk the minimum so that the child has the opportunity to think and share his or her response. For example, Instead of saying that, look, at, look, this is a cookie, and this is your favorite cookie. I bought it for you. This is very tasty. Simply say in the tone of a question, biscuit or cookie, and the child will say yes or no. You should give short and very clear instructions. If you speak less but clear, your child will respond, respond faster and will achieve the target. You can also try this activity by using similar items to teach the concept of yes or no to a child. We hope you like this video. For more informational and educational videos, please subscribe to our channel, Safia Help Center, and share this video with others to help them learn these basic skills. Thank you.